six, a helping hand with your land. I can probably do this as a three-minute Thursday. Do you want three-minute Thursdays? Because I don't think this is going to take all that long, really. So if you look at the top of a Kubota engine, you're gonna see a letter followed by a bunch of different numbers, and that's the model number of your engine. Kubota model numbers, like most things in the Kubota world, actually mean something. These little Japanese guys running around coming up with these things don't just make stuff up at random, right? Everything has a purpose. And the model numbers of the engines are no different than that. Uh, so we're gonna go through each of the digits here in a Kubota model number and explain to you exactly what they mean. So when you look at your Kubota model number, the very first thing in the model is a letter. And that letter denotes the number of cylinders that that engine has. So E is used for one, Z for two, D, which is very popular, say D902 that's used in all the BXs, is three. V, which is the four cylinder engines used in most of the bigger tractors, is four cylinders. F for five cylinder and S for six cylinder engines. And some of those I don't even think necessarily exist today. I did have somebody tell me at some point that those numbers correspond to German names for letters. So whatever German is for the number three example should start with the letter D if you go and look it up. So if you happen to know German, comment down there below and tell me if I'm right or not. So after that first letter, you're gonna have two digits, and the next two digits in the model number are gonna tell you the approximate displacement of an engine. So a D902, for example, those nine zero tells you that it is basically nine tenths of a liter. Uh, it's measured in cc. Uh, say a V6000 series engine is gonna be right about six liters. The 6900 series is 6.9 liters. So those those two digits are the approximate displacement. Now remember, they're pulling the first two numbers off of the, uh, the full displacement in cc's. So a D902, for example, is around about 900 cc's, a uh, 6900 series engine at 6,900. They're only taking those first two digits. So it doesn't give you the whole displacement of the engine, but you can kind of read between the lines of whether you, you have a three digit displacement or a four digit displacement and kind of figure out from there exactly how big your engine is. So the fourth character or third number in your model number is a series designation that Kubota uses for that engine. Kubota actually makes five different series of engines and those are really just telling you the technology that's used in that given engine. So two, for instance, is used for Kubota's super mini series engines that you see in a lot of the smaller tractors, subcompacts, RTVs, and those kinds of things. So third digit, fourth character is gonna tell you that series number for the technology that's used in that engine. So after that point, after your first four characters of the engine number, you start to get a lot of variation from one model to the next. And the following digits are really telling you exactly how that engine is equipped and what kind of technology that's used to power it. So um, many of them are gonna say uh, DI for a direct inject engine, CR if you have an engine with common rail diesel on it, a T is gonna tell you if it's turbocharged, um, and those kinds of things. Now, any numbers that are on the tail end of the model number are gonna tell you if there's a variant of it for some reason. So if Kubota's come out with a particular engine and they make some changes to it partway through the production cycle, you'll get one, two, three, four, a, a digit on the very end. So that'll tell you a little bit about your Kubota engine model numbers. I, for one, found it really interesting that these numbers that are stamped on the top of the engines actually mean something, and you very easily can figure out the number of the cylinders or the displacement of just about any engine that you walk up to and take a look at. So if you have questions about your equipment, anything we can help you with, or parts or service needs for your machines, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com.